Hi everyone, I'm just going to wait till one o'clock before we start and then we'll uh, see where we are and carry on. Marvellous. In the meantime, I'll introduce you to Claymore. Claymore, everyone. Very important part of the relations team. So we'll be starting in about five minutes, everyone. I'm just waiting for everyone to get online.
Hi everyone, we're just going to be starting in about three minutes, just giving everyone a chance to uh, get on board. If you haven't met Claymore already, this is Claymore, very important part of our relationship management team. Um, and uh, he'll be assisting me today in the webinar. Hi everyone, um, lovely to see a few people engaging. I'm sure we've got some familiar faces and some unfamiliar faces. Welcome to my webinar, which is how we work with partners and clients here at Ennis. Um, I'm just gonna do a little introduction while we wait for a few more people to engage. So I'm, my name's Alex Robertson. I'm the head of uh, the UK desk and high net worth relations in our, in our relationship management team here at Ennis. Um, you know, I deal pr primarily with all sorts of clients and we're gonna go over how we do that and also how we engage with the broker and a relationship manager at the same time. Okay, so I'm talking to you from London, which is where our headquarters is based as NS. And you know, I know we're all hoping for a bit of good news from Boris at the weekend, but before then, let me give you this exciting update on this webinar. Okay, so who are we as a brokerage? Well, NS, we're a pure mortgage brokerage. So we all know there's lots of firms that diversify and have different products and give different advice. Uh, our management have decided that we're gonna stay uh, purists. Uh, and we, we think that's helped us become the specialists that we are today. Um, now on, on a covering basis front, we're fully authorized uh, and regulated FCA compliant mortgage brokerage based in the UK. However, we do have lots of offices globally, uh, which we work with, also satellites, partners, uh, and also representatives, of which you can probably see on our website, uh, of which the link is also in all of our posts. Okay, so to list a few of these offices that we have globally, of course, we've got our main headquarters here in London. Uh, we also cover the Channel Islands. We work with a lot of trusts there. And uh, our main office for that is in Jersey. We are uh, just on the promenade, very nice place. Um, we also work in France. We work in Monaco, Ibiza. I'm just naming a few here so you get a general idea. And we have representatives in lots of different arenas. And we also have relationship managers uh, and BDM uh, business developers in lots of different areas as well. So what do we do? We're whole of market and we offer a full advice service. So that means that unlike a lot of brokerages, instead of being limited to a panel or a certain bank or a certain mem uh, number of products, we're able to search the entire market and come back with what we think is the best product for you or your client. Um, I mean, at the last count, we were well above 300 different relationships, which is rather exciting. Now, who do we deal with in that sort of arena? Well, just to give you a few examples, we deal with you know anywhere between sort of high street banks who serve uh, present some excellent products and some excellent interest rates. Um, and then we also, of course, deal with specialist lenders uh, of all different types. 
and primarily private banks. A lot of our clients, uh, we find them very useful for. And of course, building societies. There's a lot of excellent products out there, as we know, it's just finding them, which is what we like to think we're good at. So I mentioned the arena that we find ourselves in today. Let me just outline some of our main areas. Now, we have a dedicated teams across the board that are there to offer tailored solutions to your clients. Now, what sort of arenas are we talking about here and what sort of teams are we talking about? Well, firstly, we have our relationship management team. This is a team that speaks over 16 different languages, which is quite an exciting statistic. Um, and we deal with initial contact into the company and also ensuring that you and your clients are looked after throughout the process that we provide here at NS. We're always happy to pick up the phone. We're all quite colloquial. We work on WhatsApp. We use Zoom, as you can see. We use individuals like Claymore as well to engage. Um, so, you know, we're, we're very much there. If, if something doesn't work for you, we're, look, we're happy to look at different ways of getting in contact. We're happy to come and meet you, whether it's in different countries. We also have representatives and relationship managers in those different countries. Now, next we have our international team. So these are mortgage brokers that operate or represent us internationally. Um, so for example, in 2018, we are able to secure 77 different nationalities language um sorry products which is quite a staggering statistic um, we, we also have our commercial team they operate in all areas of specialist finance so bridging uh, development and much much more headed up by our head of specialist lending chris whitney who's very well known in that arena here and globally now we also have our main broking team that offers support in all areas of uk finance so to give a few examples, new builds, pre-funding, residential purchases, anything like that, buy to lets. So those are the main teams that we have here at NS. So bearing that in mind, where do our greatest strengths lie? Well, we're very well known for our large mortgages. So to give you some examples of that, we're, you know, our sweet spot and best arena that we operate in is three million up to the hundreds of millions. Um, to just give you an example of something that we're working on at the moment, which is quite exciting despite the COVID-19 crisis. We are just nearing a completion of a 30 mil refinance on a central prime London property. It's worth 90 and we're getting the finance on 30. So though those are big numbers, it's very important to note we have no minimum loan size, which brings me on to um, understanding clients and also being known as specialists. So when I say we're specialists, I think we're quite well known in this market for being able to provide difficult solutions. And, you know, for example, mentioning no minimum loan size, we're very aware that, you know, big portfolios, complex portfolios have assets of different um, values in it. And, you know, we've got to be able to work with all of that. Now, when, when we're dealing with portfolios, we also deal, you know, with trusts, with BVIs and all this sort of thing. And we also deal regularly in complex financial scenarios. So if, if the cash flow or the global landscape of a client's wealth may present difficulties, which I think historically um, you would have found yourself as an individual or as a client or as an advisor, um, if things are not black and white, a lot of lenders uh, do get slightly um, stressed about it. So that's our you know, area of expertise. We do that regularly and we come up with great solutions. Now, what this approach has enabled us to do is offer international solutions with assets based in various global locations for single clients uh, and bring that whole process together and streamline it which is very unusual so for example also our bridging finance and commercial lending is also done at very sensitive high value scenarios uh, and we do that a lot in the extremes of the market um, so for example i know our commercial team is dealing with some uh, big ticket bridging at the moment in a time when obviously we've seen a lot of people retract from that market. So this approach and having this you know, vast plethora of uh, different angles to what we do here, but still having primarily one approach, which is to secure a property finance solution, has enabled us to produce over a billion pounds worth of offers last year. So if that's not an indication of uh, the sort of support and uh, and solutions we are able to provide. I don't know what is. Um, so let me give you some examples of what we do. I think that's always the best way to go about these things. 
So recently we were able to refinance a block of apartments in New York for a high net worth individual based in another part of the globe. Uh, the ticket number was 10 million, that's US dollars. Uh, you know, another one that we deal with with our UK team, for example, 15 million pound refinance on a 30 million pound prime property in London. Um, the purpose of the client in this was to release equity uh, for reinvestment, which is something we see regularly. And also at the rates that we're seeing now in the market, you know, if you can leverage that, that's fantastic. Okay, so I'll just cover a few more. Let's have an example of bridging. So we did a 7.5 million pound two year bridge facility that was secured against a trophy asset, um, which, was, uh, which was having to be sold. However, you know, having that two year breathing space enabled our client to restructure some finance and uh, actually retain that property in that scenario. Um, another thing we've done recently is a 500k residential mortgage in the Isle of Man. Um, we know the Channel Islands are uh, particularly important to a lot of people. We deal with them regularly. We have representatives in each of them, and we also have a foothold uh, in the Royal Promenade, as I said, uh, main office there run by Jack Goplin. Um, fantastic individual. Um, a few more examples, for example, 5.3 million pound bridge loan on a Monaco property. Uh, now, this was a quite an intricate one. It was held uh, via a BVI company. And in order to release liquidity um, so that the ultimate beneficiary being the owner um, got uh, the liquidity needed until he sold his property, that, um, sorry, his company based in the UK. So those are a few examples of what we do. Um, if you were wanting to call me and uh, discuss any of those examples or what, you know, similar examples for your clients, I'd be happy to do so. Now, who do we work with? That's an important one for this webinar, of course. So we get a lot of our clients from our direct digital marketing, as you've seen online. It's, uh, it's really excellently done by our head of marketing, Alina. Um, now, we've seen in the last two years an awful lot of advisors coming to us um, and a lot of referrals from other individuals. And to list, you know, a small list of the regular sort of referrals we get people from are private banks, private bankers, law firms, uh, tax advisors, corporate providers, trust companies, family offices, wealth asset managers, um, other mortgage brokers, because we, as I said before, we very much are the specialists. If something can't get done, um, that we are you know, probably the last chance at getting it done. And we like to think that we, we do get those things. And we have a lot of repeat clients. Um, word of mouth in our world, as you can imagine, is, is extremely strong and we benefit a lot from that. However, if, if there, any of those sort of examples apply to you, you know, you can perhaps thinking of how NS could help you guys. Now, why would you want to work with us? As I said before, you know, we are specialists. We get the job done and it's much more efficient. You know, you've heard the old phrase, um, well, jack of many, master of none. Uh, we, we, are, we like to stay in our, in our lines and uh, achieve the best results in that arena. So, as I said, reasons to work with us. It's a fragmented market. Now, our company was actually founded during an economic crisis. We are able to rise through that and become the company that we are today. Uh, so a lot of the things that we've learned historically as a company, as individuals, as management, um, has now been able to apply in this crisis, um, which as I'm sure you'll agree, is gonna be very interesting, um, especially after what we see Boris saying on Sunday. Now, some of the other reasons to work with us are, um, we have, as I said, relationship with hundreds of lenders. Now, when I say that, you know, lots of people can say that, but when we say that, what we mean is they are current relationships. Uh, we're always in contact with the lenders, either as relationship managers or brokers or the founders of our company are always out there with these individuals. So that means that we have an up-to-date idea of not only who's there, but how they're operating, their criteria, their processes. Now, the criterion process thing is extremely important because as an, as an individual or as someone not in this industry, we, we have access to that on the button knowledge that allows us to think, well, this has actually just come up last week. We can go there. And also when we present those cases, we know how these institutions want them presented. Each one of these different over 300 companies, lenders, um, they would like different scenarios in place in which to offer that credit. So it's really important to know how each one works and it's all in the packaging as well, which is sounds rather simple, but it's certainly not as any of you in this industry would know. Okay, so 
all of that aside, on the business, on the very serious side as well, we will take care of the collation of documents as well. We'll also do anti-money laundering. We'll look after the regulatory side and all the relevant paperwork. And we'll also always keep you informed. Also, if you're an advisor or you've introduced someone to us, we will take the flack. We've got our relationship management team and our brokers who, who do a lot of that on a daily basis. And you know, we try and find the solutions that will get a client past any difficulties. And even if not, you know, your, your reputation is safeguarded by ours. Okay, so you know, from all this experience and services that we provide, we, we just genuinely like to solve problems. So if you've got a difficult case, reach out, discuss it with any of us in the relationship management team or one of our brokers, we'd be really happy just to have a chat. So what can you expect? What's the physical process? So the first step, well, what's important to say is I think unusually for a, a mortgage brokerage, we have a two pronged approach. So every single client um, gets a relationship manager and obviously a broker who takes point on their case from start to finish. So that means that through that whole process, instead of just having your broker, you also have a relationship manager that offers you recourse on both sides. It, it ensures that you're being followed up with not just or your clients being followed up with, not just with the hard facts, you know, information required, but also what's their well-being? Are they achieving their objectives? Why do they want this finance? Um, and as we know, that's why people do this and it's extremely important. Okay, so back to the physical process. Pick up the phone or write an email to one of us uh, or the relationship management team. We're always happy to have a chat. Now, at that point, we'll just discuss what your client's needs are, what their objectives are. There's, there's no need for you to mention client names. We're very easy going at this stage on that. And we will give you an idea of what the realities are and the relationship managers can also give you insight as to who will be the best broker for your client and then also who can be the relationship manager on that case. So at that point, you'll then get the lead broker involved. The lead broker will then come back with an immediate overview of your client. We can usually do this within 48 hours. Um, obviously, times do vary in relation to the difficulty of the case, but 48 hours is our usual working parameter. Um, now, once we've done that, we, we can discuss the referral terms or conditions if you're introducing someone to it and outline the exact process. And we also then outline the fees that may be involved at this stage, but we won't charge you. Um, then what we'll do is we'll come back to you or the client directly, however you want to tier it. And we will give you our terms and conditions and we'll give you an indicative term sheet that outlines exactly uh, what it is you want to, what they want to achieve and how we think they can achieve this. This is the product. Um, and at this point, we're happy to send it out branded or unbranded, whatever works best for you. And still at this point, we wouldn't have charged you a fee. The idea being that we're happy to go away and do this research because we're confident in our abilities that we will find the best product and we'll only start charging once a client or yourself agrees to go forward. So if at this stage they do want to proceed, we'll then informally engage the client and agree the fees with them. It's very transparent, our process. If you want to discuss fees, once again, just pick up the phone. Um, so at this point, we'll take a ma management of the entire process, a collation of paperwork, compliance, contact with any relevant third parties. We've got contacts with excellent conveyances, for example, that we work with, which is extremely important. Um, we've seen a lot of things fall through due to perhaps not so good conveyances, but we work with some excellent ones. So the aim is simple. We want to move from offer to completion stages as effectively and as quickly and as painlessly as possible. Anyone who's purchased anything in property or involved in this world knows that it can be a slightly painful process. So we take a lot of that stress out of that. Okay, so once we've then got to the completion stage, of course, we, we've ensured that the relationship has been maintained with yourself, with us, with the client, and we've offered and completed on a successful solution. So one more point to make on that is we're very flexible on your level of, in, um, of engagement. If you want to be CC'd into emails, included in meetings, anything like that, we're very happy to do that. Um, and, uh, you know, we've also, of course, would like to always discuss strategy as to how you want to achieve the best of your client and things like that. Okay, so that is generally um, the outline of what we do here at NS. It's a very basic um, to sort of show how we do these things and how we achieve them. So if anyone would like to ask any questions at this point, I'd be very open to it. So please ask away.
Okay, so I've got the question here. What happens if there's a delay in the process or you reach a difficult point? Uh, it's a very good question. Uh, I touched on it briefly before. Um, we're very happy to always take the flack of that. That's one of our jobs. Um, one of our, our, our biggest things on a day-to-day -day basis here at Ennis is making sure there's always an alternative solution. Um, so if something is really in, in a difficult space, we're usually able to um, turn that into another positive in the sense that we can go in a different direction. Um, also, you, the advisor, can leave the flack to us, uh, which I think is quite important in some cases. Um, any more questions? So I've just had a question that says, can we secure finance on non-property assets? Yes, we certainly can. Um, we've in the past uh, been involved in, in some big yacht finance. Uh, there are also business loans available. Um, there's all sorts of loans there. So as I said, if in doubt about something or whether or not uh, we can do it, just ping us an email. Happy to have a chat. It's better that we give you a quick no than you know, long maybe is our sort of uh, take on that. Uh, which is excellent. Um, great, I've had another question here. How long does the normal process take from start to finish roughly for a complex case? As I said, um, we'll always get back to clients as quickly as we can. When we ha have a proper take on any case, we will then give uh, an approximate timeline. Um, you know, best case scenarios, worst case scenarios, we, we always like to have the information before we give uh, a timeline as to not um, let anyone down and you know it's good to meet expectations we feel. Um, any more questions anyone? All right so there's no questions at the moment but what I would say is it's been great to talk to you all and as I said if in doubt just give us a give us a call. Um, my number will be put up after this in the recording of this post. Reach out to any of our relationship management team or any of our brokers we'd we'll be happy to talk to you and have a lovely start to the bank holiday weekend. And let's hope for good news with Boris on Sunday. Keep safe, everyone. Bye-bye.